Hey guys, welcome to Turkish Rabina's first blog. So basically, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shane and today I'm going to talk to you about two things. Archery and comic books. If you can't see what that is, basically you've got the green arrow and some other Marvel and DC heroes. So basically, what I'm going to show and talk about is how I feel I can help you start and progress in archery, give you some tips, see um, what you feel as if are good and bad points um, in terms of form, what arrows to use, uh, what bow you should buy if you're first starting out, because I know a lot of bows these days can cost a lot of money. And a lot of people complain, especially um, instructors, they say you should never go out and buy a bow on the internet. They say you should go to an archery class and then go to a shop. And the reason why you should go, go to a shop is because a string length is so long and obviously so is your arm as demonstrated. So if a string pulls back to 30 inches but you've only got 27 inches of length in your arm, you, you're going to get 3 inches less in terms of the full power of that bow which means if you've got a 20 pound bow which means how powerful it is you will only get around 15 pounds because you're not putting it to the full length so that's one tip that i'll give you a, a exclusive oh did he say exclusive i think he did that was legolas son of armless <laughs> son of eyeless <laughs> What you saw there was me first shooting a bow and as you probably saw the form was terrible my stance wasn't right my arm wasn't straight you know first time you do it you're not gonna have and um we'll also be talking about comic books uh, marvel films films coming out films that have just been released old films you know, anything to do with comic books, basically Comic Con, yes, I've been there dressed up as Assassin's Creed, recognize. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. And um, you know, a good, a, a good example here is uh, as you can see, I've got several pictures of the Arrow, who is one of my favorite uh, Nahomo uh, comic book heroes. And uh, Obviously, because he has a bow and arrow, and uh, he doesn't really have a superhero power. He's one of the very few superheroes, such as Batman. Um, if you go into the Marvel world, you've got Hawkeye, who is pretty much the same as Green Arrow. But they were trained uh, by, I guess you can call them experts, in combat and jiu-jitsu you know all that martial arts stuff but if you if you want to focus on the green arrow and the batman they were both trying trained by the league of assassins now how about that but he didn't know that and even though they were both trained by the same people why do they never cross paths in any of the tv series or movies exactly so the question i'm going to leave you at the end of this is why doesn't the arrow aka oliver queen know the batman aka bruce wayne yeah, exactly but he didn't know, know that oh yeah i'll leave that one 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 for the bank as they say and um i will also be reviewing um my comic books anything that i found was interesting about them anything that was effing terrible you know, you get some of them, you just think, what the hell did I just read? Or some of them just like blow your mind. So it would be interesting to get your thoughts on what I think is a, a good comic and what you think is a good comic. As well as um, when I go into more detail about archery, how I feel as if um, what brands you should focus on. And if you're like me, you want to get good, good enough one day where you can actually go bow hunting. Um, that'll be another t topic that I'll go into and uh, that's it from now. <laughs>